Up. The UK uh, Prime Minister has jumped to the defence of Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi during a question and answer session in the British Parliament. Uh, Park origin British MP, he has been snubbed. There's a reaction by Sunak. Let's listen in. Mr. Speaker, last night the BBC revealed the Foreign Office knew the extent of Narendra Modi's involvement in the Gujarat massacre that paved the way for the persecution of Muslims and other minorities we see in India today. With senior diplomats reporting that the massacre could not have taken place without a climate of impunity created by Modi and that he was, in the FCO's own words, directly responsible for this violence. Given that hundreds were brutally killed and that families across India and the world, including here in the UK, are still without justice, does the Prime Minister agree with his diplomats in the Foreign Office that Modi was directly responsible? And just what more does the Foreign Office know of his involvement in this grave act of ethnic cleansing? Well, Mr Speaker, the UK Government's position on this has been clear and long-standing and, and hasn't changed. Of course, we don't tolerate persecution where it appears anywhere, but I'm not sure I agree at all with the characterisation that the Honourable Gentleman has put forward. That completes Prime Minister's questions. I'll just let them... Well, the British uh, Prime Minister, they're saying that he doesn't agree with the characterization that was made by Park Origin British MP on the floor of the House in the British Parliament. There's a BBC documentary that has dominated the discourse on social media, which raises some uh, serious questions, which have made certain allegations. And of course, this has been a contentious issue. Uh, let me try and cut across to my colleague Sanjay Suri, who's joining us on the broadcast and getting us more details. Sanjay, a bit more about this British MP of Park Origin. Well, um, there are a number of MPs of Park origin, and of course, they would never leave a chance to try and attack India uh, issues about Kashmir or over the Gujarat issue. But the Gujarat issue, the immediate um, you know, the swing board has been you see documentary on uh, the Prime Minister uh, that raises, as you say, contentious issues. It makes reports and repeats uh, several questions. And therefore, the uh, Park Origin MP is certainly up to try and uh, hit the Indian government with. Hmm. This is a, a familiar uh, practice and hmm. going through these kind of rounds times now. Well, uh, Sanjay, here in India, once again, uh, repeatedly, it has been asserted that the entire discourse that ha was propelled around Gujarat riots was motivated. There was a certain kind of version which was tried to be painted in this entire matter. Once again, on social media, we have seen various people raising those questions yet again. Uh, there has been a, a, a discourse on the international platforms as well when it comes to Gujarat riots. And as far as the position of the Indian government is concerned, they've always said that any kind of inquiry that was conducted by the Supreme Court of India or the special panel that was set up, each and every person submitted to that inquiry. So any kind of documentary cannot be cited really as an evidence to prosecute someone or to label somebody as something. Uh, give us more context to the, to the response coming in from the British Prime Minister. What kind of tone and tenor has he maintained during his limited term when it comes to such issues? The Prime Minister made it very clear and he spoke briefly but the choice of words was uh, rather telling he says um, that he does not agree at all with the uh, characterization uh, that uh, the uh, Labour MP was putting forward. Now, he said that briefly but emphatically. He said the position of the British government has not changed. He completely uh, uh, dismissed any of the allegations uh, that the, uh, the MP was making. And he has taken a very firm position on this. Okay. And on earlier occasions, too, he has taken a very firm and clear stand uh, supporting the institutions of the Indian state. Uh, Mr. Rabindra Sachdev, who is a foreign affairs, uh, affairs expert, is joining us on the broadcast. Uh, good evening, Mr. Sachdev. Thank you so much for speaking to us. How do you see the words coming in from the British Prime Minister when he says he doesn't agree with the characterization when there were certain controversial terms which were used for the Indian Prime Minister by a British MP of Park origin? Mr. Sachdev. Fair enough. Thank you for having me. One, you know, uh, this thing and the statement of Sunak and what the MP said is one thing. For a moment, I'll take you to something else. Mm. You know, this whole narrative about Modi was denied a visa, right? Mm. There is no basis to that. Mm. It started in 2005 when there was some... For, as an example, I'm giving you...